Good morning, church. In Ezra chapter 4, we read that the Jews are building the temple and uh, the adversaries of Judah and Benjamin, we read in uh, Ezra chapter 4 verse 1, that the enemies or adversaries of Judah and Benjamin, they heard that the children of the captivity, that is the Jews are building the temple and they offer Zerubbabel, who is the leader now, and the chief of the fathers and said unto them, let us build with you for we seek your God as you do. And we also do sacrifice uh, uh, from the day of uh, the king of Asur, which brought us here. So, but Zerubbabel in verse 3 and uh, Jeshua and the rest of the chief of father said unto them, you have nothing to do with us to build a house unto our God, but we ourselves together will build unto the Lord God of Israel as King Cyrus, the king of Persia, had commanded us. So they were in a way saying that, you are saying that, uh, the adversary, to the adversaries they are saying that uh, they have something in common, they seek the same God, but the, the reality is there is nothing in common because they are also worshipping other gods and uh, they don't really know the God of Israel, Yahweh God. And in a way, uh, the Jews are mindful of the fact that the reason the Jews are together and they have come together to build the temple of, uh, uh, to rebuild the temple is because they believe in the one and only true God and uh, they've come together so that they can build together. And in Ezra chapter 6 we read, and the elders of the Jews built and prospered through the prophesying of Haggai the prophet and Zechariah. They finished their building by decree of the God of Israel and by decree of Cyrus and Darius and the king of Persia, Artaxerxes. And this house was finished on the third day of the month of Adar in the sixth year of the reign of Darius the king and the people of Israel, the priest and the Levites and the rest of the returned exiles celebrated the dedication of this house of God with joy. There was a lot of joy when the house of God was dedicated, it was completed and it was dedicated because the people who had something in common, that is they were worshipping and believing the true God, they had built this house and they did not allow anybody else to build. And we see a similar story in the next book of the Bible, that is Nehemiah. There in chapter 2 verse 17, you see uh, Nehemiah saying, you see the trouble we are in, how Jerusalem lies in ruins with its gates burned. Come, let us build the wall of Jerusalem that we may no longer suffer. And I told them of the hand of my God, verse 18, that they had been upon me for good. So Nehemiah is saying that there is a God who is helping us and he is going to lead us. And the people in response said, let us rise up and build. So they strengthen their hands for the good work. People come together for common good. And we see in Nehemiah chapter 12, verse 27, the wall is dedicated. Everyone is amazingly joyful and they're singing with cymbals and harps and, and all the instruments. They're giving, uh, they are thank, uh, they're giving thanks to God. And the sons of the singers, verse in Nehemiah chapter 12, verse 28 says, the sons of the singers gather together from the district surrounding Jerusalem. So all over uh, Israel, people gather together. We we together have something in common and we come together for something good. Now we've accomplished it. Let us thank God. So people can walk together only when they are in agreement. Amos 3.3. 3. We cannot walk together if we are not in agreement. And when Christians are uh, who have Christ in common, they come together and they walk together. They are agreeing on Christ and there is a common good that each one uh, is striving uh, to follow Christ and striving and laboring for the faith of the gospel. We read in Philippians 1.27, Paul says, You are standing firm in one spirit with one mind, striving side by side for the faith of the gospel. So we come together, we strive together, we are laboring. If the, if the gospel is a vision of the glory of Christ without uh, which no one can be saved, then it is the most precious thing that we have. 
which we can share with others and therefore we are striving. God is using us in different ways. And as we are walking together and striving together, we are also knit together in love, Colossians 2, 2. And when we are knit together in love, we can set an example together. Philippians 3.17 says, uh, brother, join in imitating me and keep your eyes on those who walk according to the example you have in us. We walk according to the example. We set examples for others. And as we come together and we are walking together and we are, we are setting an example, we are knit in love and we have something common. We also worship together. Psalm 34, 3 says, magnify the name with me and exalt the Lord together. Oh, magnify the Lord with me and let us exalt his name together. Let us exalt his name together. Our conference is beginning today. All our missionaries and pastors and everywhere, everyone in their team, they are coming together from different places. We have been laboring uh, for the faith of the gospel in different capacities, different ways, different geographies, and we may be striving together. But God is using us uniquely when we come together as christians when we come together we can have great expectations in the world we have so many disappointments that we forget that we can have expectations from this god who will never disappoint us as followers of christ we agree on the goodness of god the mercies and the sufficiency of christ on the eternal we have uh, faith and have we, we can have more expectations and we can receive more and we can be enriched more because we are walking together and laboring together for God's glory. We would get to hear how God is working uniquely in so many lives across geographies and languages and cultures and that will stir us up. Let us pray that every session brings us edification, every session brings us healing. Uh, to our souls. Let every session stir us up, encourage us to walk together further and to be knit together and labor together. Amen.